Welcome back guys, Blackmate Wukong just received a major update that includes a new gameplay mode, gameplay fixes and performance improvements. A new challenge mode has been added to the game that allows us to fight against the defeated foes. But in order to access this mode, we need to beat the game at least once. The mode can be accessed from any Keeper Shrine. Journey's chart has been added, it's basically the map. A Journey's chart can be unlocked when the Destined One first enters Blackmate Mountain and meets the Keeper. Afterwards, for each new territory reached, a journey's chart can be purchased at the Keeper Shrine. New armor set is available. Armor set of Opulence can be obtained from any Keeper Shrine. I'll show you the performance improvement section now. Fixed occasional crashes for some users after enabling DLSS frame generation. Fixed screen flickering issues for some users after enabling XCSS. Fixed a memory leak issue under certain conditions. Fixed crashes caused by outdated drivers. Optimized performance for numerous scenes and boss fights on medium and low end configurations. Enhance the performance of full ray tracing on GeForce RTX. Unfortunately, this game still does not support FSR 3.1. This means we cannot use DLSS or XCSS upscale in conjunction with FSR frame generation. There is one problem with the official FSR frame generation implementation in this game. In the last chapter, we can summon Wukong's cloud to fly around, but whenever we summon the cloud, FSR frame generation smoothing effect stops working. This problem is not present when we use Nukem 9's modded FSR 3 frame generation. In this video, I'll be showing you how to install this mod. Using this mod, we will be able to enable DLSS upscaler in conjunction with FSR 3.1 frame generation. We'll be testing the game on my Windows PC that has an RTX 2070 Super GPU and Ryzen 5700X 3D processor. Nukem 9's mod only works on RTX GPUs will be using build 0.100 universal DLL version. You can download the mod for free from Nexus Mods. There's the link. Need to have a free Nexus Mods account in order to download any stuff from here. Just click on files here. Click on manual download under universal. Now click on slow download. The game comes with a very old version of DLSS subscaler. I think it's version 3.1. I'll be manually updating it to the latest version that is 3.8.10. You can download it from Tech Power Up's website. I'll give its link in the description. Click on download here. Click on any of the servers. Download will start. I'll show you how to update DLSS Subscaler. Open DLSS Subscaler zip file that we just downloaded. Copy this DLL file. Open the games install directory. Select the game in your Steam library. Right click. Manage. Browse local files. This is the game's install directory. Open engine folder. Open plugins folder. Open runtime folder. Open NVIDIA folder. Open DLSS folder. Open binaries folder. Open third party folder. Open Win64 folder. Paste the file here. Need to overwrite it. Check its version. Details should be 3.8.10. Make sure hardware accelerated GPU shuttling setting is enabled on your PC. Right click anywhere in the desktop area. Click on display settings. Then click on graphics here. Click on chain default graphics setting. From here, enable hardware accelerated GPU shuttling. If your monitor supports variable refresh rate, enable the setting as well. Now I'll enable VSync from NVIDIA control panel. Click on Manage 3D Settings, then click on Program Settings. From this drop down bar, select Blackmath Wukong. Scroll down to the end, enable VSync from here. My monitor is G-Sync compatible. Just click on Setup G-Sync. Enable these settings. Enable G-Sync, G-Sync compatible. Enable for full screen mode. Enable settings for the selected display model. Apply the changes. First, I'll run the game without Nukem 9's mod. Show you the broken official FSR frame generation implementation. We'll be using a custom afterburner overlay to show you the performance metrics. In game settings, display mode set to borderless, resolution full HD, VSync and motion blur disabled, sharpening intensity set to level 5, graphics settings, upscaler set to DLSS, super resolution 65, this is basically the upscaler's quality preset, frame generation disabled, first run the game without it, ray tracing off, high preset. I loaded up the game's last chapter, current location, Rhino Watslow. Last chapter features a semi-open world, big area for us to explore. 
This is Rhino Watch Slope's Keeper Shrine. From any Keeper Shrine, you can access Trail Blazer Gift. Here you'll find the Opulence Armor Set. Collect. Store. Buy. From here you can purchase Journey's Chart. For some will. I haven't completed the game yet. That's why I am unable to access the new challenge mode. I'll open the journey's chart for this location. Press the M key. There you go. Can travel to other locations from here. The other shrines. Back to the game. Here FPS is within a range of 50 to 60. I'm pretty sure there's a giant insect in this area. Keeps hopping from one point to another. Fifty FPS. Image quality is looking decent, except for the cloud. And <laughs> there's the insect. Okay, I'll just enable official FSR frame generation now. Need to switch to FSR upscaler. Frame generation on. Back to the game. Yeah, FPS increased to around 86. All thanks to FSR frame generation. When I move the camera around quickly, textures look a bit pixelated. This is due to FSR upscaler. Not a fan of it. I'll just summon Wukong's cloud. Yeah, FSR smoothing effect got disabled. Just open the mod zip file. Open dll underscore version folder. Copy the two dll files. Need to paste them in the games install directory. Select the game in your Steam library. Right click. Manage. Browse local files. This is the games install directory. Open b1 folder. Open binaries folder. Open Win64 folder. Paste the mod files here. And that's it. The mod has been installed. Just make sure hardware accelerated GPU shuttling setting is enabled. I have already shown that in the early part of this video. Using the same settings as before. Full HD resolution, VSync, and motion blur disable. DLSS upscaler frame generation on. Mod is working. High preset. My monitor supports up to 240Hz refresh rate. Here FPS got capped at 224. This means NVIDIA Reflex is working. Do it the same sequence. Yeah, frame generation smoothing effect is working properly. 80 to 90 FPS. Games hard elements are not flickering. I just summon Wukong's cloud. Keep an eye on the FPS counter. Frame generation smoothing effect did not get disabled. It's working properly. Not observing any artifacts around Wukong. Oh my god, look at the size of that insect. It's not hostile. Not going to kill it. 90 to 100 FPS here. And just fly around, explore the area. Show you some combat as well. Let creature hop to another area. Just go on foot now. They can be a hitch when we transition from ground to the cloud. These creatures can cause a hitch. 
performance should stabilize soon. Seventy to eighty FPS during combat. Don't want to waste my resources here on this small price. We'll be showing you a boss fight. And just run away now. There's the frog. Time to spam my abilities. Just a few hitches here and there. You can nice mod works perfectly in this game. Highly recommend it to users with RTX 20 and 30 series GPUs. 40 series GPU owners can simply use the LSS frame generation. I'm not sure why official FSR frame generation smoothly in fact stops working when we summon Wukong's cloud. Anyways, you can use Nukem 9's mod to fix this issue. So that's it for the video guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.